Welcome back to Months and Made This. My name is Michael. I cook vegan food. So if you want more vegan recipes and content, you should click that subscribe button below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up while you're down there. And I know the last few videos that I've done here, I've called them parties or I've made them as if they're like a recipe for throwing a party. And I guess today is not going to be any different. Uh, today is all about a slider party. So we're going to be making mini burgers with some awesome sauces, with some homemade buns. Uh, and I know everyone pretty much knows how to make burgers and sliders aren't that big of a deal. But uh, this is a way that I can kind of bring all of these together because the sauces I'm going to be making are knockoff McDonald's sauces. Um, if you've seen anything on TV lately, there's the, I'm going to mess it up, B2K, BTS, BTS, sorry, I had to ask Ben, uh, BTS meal, which is like a 10 piece nugget, but it comes with the McDonald's Cajun sauce. Um, I engineered that from the ingredients list I found online. So I'm going to be making a version, a vegan version of the Cajun sauce from McDonald's. I'm also going to be making a vegan version of the Big Mac sauce. So those two sauces can be used in a bunch of different ways. They can be used for making burgers full size or even just as dipping sauces for vegan nuggets if you'd like. Uh, I'm also going to be making my own homemade buns. Homemade is kind of uh, loose, it's like a Sandra Lee semi-homemade. I'm going to be using Rhodes Rolls to make the buns, so it's really great. You get to make your own homemade buns and as Sandra Lee would say, take all the credit. Uh, and then finally the burgers themselves. Um, we like to make smash burger style patties, so I'm going to show you how I do that with Impossible Burger. Um, yeah, so let's get started on the sauces, because obviously as a vegan, sauce is the most important food. Uh, and then we'll get into the buns, we'll get into the burgers, and then we'll have a slider party. Essentially, the Cajun sauce is a modified honey mustard type of dressing. It just has Cajun seasoning. So I'm going to start out with some Dijon mustard, which is going in here, to some vegan mayo. Both of these are going to use vegan mayonnaise, but uh, if you wanted to use my universal vegan cold salad dressing in place, you definitely could. Um, also adding some agave. Um, vegans don't use honey, so agave is a really great replacement, so you get that kind of honey mustard flavor without the honey. And because this is a Cajun dressing, I'm going to be adding some Cajun seasoning. This has quite a bit of spice to it, so I would say do it to taste. The full recipe will be on MunsonMadeThis.com, um, but if you're not a real big fan of spice, I would say do the Cajun to taste. And because I do like a little bit of spice, I'm going to add some cayenne pepper as well. And then I'm going to mix this up, taste it for a seasoning, and that's pretty much it. So when this BTS meal first came out, uh, we saw a couple like taste tests online, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm interested in what this is. Looking at the ingredients, it does contain egg because it's sort of a mayo-based type of dressing, but just looking on the McDonald's website, which they wouldn't let me screenshot, by the way. They had a restriction on, I guess, being able to take a screenshot on your phone. Um, but I wrote down all the ingredients, and it pretty much seemed like, again, sort of a mayo-based honey mustard with Cajun seasoning. So that's what I made. And uh, we've been dipping vegan nuggets in it for a while, and it's become probably like the favorite dressing around the house. Um, I've also made a version of this, like I said, with my uh, vegan cold salad dressing, and it was really great as a dressing for a salad as well. So that is the Cajun dressing. And uh, let's move on to the Mac sauce. Second sauce is also mayo-based. Again, you could use the vegan universal cold salad dressing. And uh, because the mac sauce is basically like a thousand island, uh, I'm adding ketchup to the mayo. Really simple ingredients here. I'm also going to add some salt, some sweet pickle relish. You could use dill pickle as well, but if you want that authentic McDonald's flavor, it does need to be sweet pickle. And finally, the last thing is a combined ingredient, a little bit of agave, or you could use sugar and some white wine or apples, or not apple cider, sorry, some uh, white wine or rice wine vinegar. And just like the last one, we're going to mix it up. Um, I don't know if you knew this about Ben, but he used to uh, work at McDonald's in a previous life. And so when I made this the other day for the first round of the slider party, um, he confirmed that it was very authentic. So I think that's, do you agree, Ben? Good yeah. thing to go off of. So. I'm trusting Ben's instinct as a former employee, and this delicious sauce here is perfect for making whatever burgers you make at home into a 
vegan version of a Big Mac. And that is it. These are the two sauces. I'm gonna cover them, put them in the fridge, uh, and then I'm gonna come back and talk about the buns. If homemade sauces don't make you feel special, then having homemade buns definitely will. I'm gonna be using these Rhodes dinner rolls, which I'm not sure if Ben can capture here, but it's actually labeled on the bag as vegan, which I've been obsessed with these Rhodes rolls for a long time. They're frozen. Uh, they come like this. Uh, and then you basically just thaw them, let them rise. It takes like about three hours for them to rise and you bake them off and you have homemade rolls. But what I have discovered is that if you use a muffin pan like this, uh, that when they rise and bake, they come in, well, they turn into a shape like this, which I think is perfect for using as slider buns. Like a so, little mini muffin. Exactly, and I don't, I just, it's different than the basic, I mean, you'd be like, well, why couldn't I just bake them on the baking sheet? Why do I have to use this? Uh, it does affect the rise, it does affect the shape, and I just think they come out better like this. So use your muffin pan. You should get 12 if you have a dozen muffin pan like this. Three of mine didn't turn out well because I actually had like two bags of the rolls. Uh, it's my fault, user error, so I only have what is this, nine here today? Um, but it should bake 12, which this entire recipe is going to make 12 sliders. So I would say find these, they're in the freezer section of your grocery store, um, not sponsored or anything, but I just love the idea of having, again, like homemade sauces, you have homemade buns, it just makes it a lot more special than um, just store-bought ingredients. So that's the buns. Uh, I'm just gonna put these into a little basket here so they are ready to go. And then we're going to talk about the meat. And like I said, I'm gonna be using Impossible Burger today. You could also use Beyond. Um, I also have a recipe way, way back on my channel for a quinoa-based burger. So if you wanted to make it a little bit more plant-based as opposed to just vegan, um, I'll have that linked below as well. You could make them with quinoa patties. So buns are going to the side. Let's get on to the burger. As I said, we are using Impossible, and this is actually a 12 ounce package, which is perfect because that way we get 12 one ounce patties. And the way I like to divide this up is to open up the back and then invert this so that I can evenly cut them into 12 sections. Trying to make sure to get all of it out here. Not too bad. So to get 12 second sections, <laughs> I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise and then cut it into, wow, on the spot here. <laughs> uh, so I need to get six, oh, I know what I need to do, sorry. Cut it into quarters this way, that's what it was. I was like, I know I only made three cuts in one direction. Cut it into quarters this way and then cut it into thirds this way. There it is. So now we have 12 individual sections and I'm just gonna take these and make them into little balls and flatten them. I'm using this cutting board here. You could use parchment paper. Um, but like I said earlier, we like to do ours kind of smash burger style, which is really thin and flat and it just makes them really nice for browning up. So make them into little balls, like I said and then flatten them. And that's why I like to do them on this cutting board here or on parchment paper. Um, I'm actually gonna pop it into the fridge or the freezer while I get other things ready. That way they kind of firm up. They're easier to pry off with a spatula and they go directly onto the griddle. And you have these perfectly delicious caramelized little discs of impossible burger. Um, like I said, you could make the quinoa patties as I mentioned before. Um, you could use Beyond. I believe Beyond when they come in the um, Packages like this is actually a pound. So if you wanted to make them the same size, you would obviously get 16 instead of just 12. I have my 12 mini patties here all flattened out and I am just gonna put it into the freezer for a couple of minutes. That's just gonna help me use my spatula to pry them off just a little bit easier because they are a little bit sticky right now. So they're gonna go to the freezer. I'm gonna heat my griddle up and then I'll meet you back at the stove. I have my cast iron griddle really nice and heated up now. Use whatever pan you have. Uh, the burgers were in the freezer for maybe just about five minutes, and that's just gonna help them firm up a little bit so it's easier to take them off of the cutting board or parchment. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do all 12 at one time. Try to get nine on here. Um, as soon as I get them all on here, I will season them with salt and pepper. And like I said before, we like them really nice and caramelized smash burger style. So I'm gonna be cooking them until I get just beautiful caramelization on both sides. It'll cook up really quickly because they are so thin, um, but we kind of like to push them kind of to the edge 
um, just so they just really get that nice caramelization, helps with the flavor, texture. So yeah, I got nine on here now. Salt and pepper. And I'll do this to the other side as well once I flip them. I forgot that I had another video that I did quite a while ago, which is vegan McDonald's video. Uh, it's very similar. I think that's actually Beyond Burger, um, but I think I talk about doing it in a similar style here. Style here. I'm, I've never been a fan of like a thick burger. I don't know, as kids, I feel like we had to decide whether we were a hot dog kid or a hamburger kid. Um, and definitely if it was like a big thick burger that ended up like shrinking up into like a hockey puck that didn't fit on the, the bun, I was definitely more of like a hot dog kid, hot dog with just mustard. Uh, but every once in a while, if it was like, the good frozen patties that had like the, I don't know, do you remember those as like, that you would buy in like a big old bag? They would have like, they had like kind of like an imprint in them from whatever made the patty. Um, then I was likely to get a burger there, but um, I think, yeah, as a kid, I was definitely a more of a hot dog kid. Um, it's been just a couple, well, maybe like a minute or so. Uh, I'm testing to see if it's ready to be flipped. Looks like I can get my spatula under here. And look at that. That's the kind of caramelization I'm talking about. I do smash it down a little bit. And I'm gonna go through, check. Too hot to touch with my bare hands, but look at me doing it anyways. Beautiful, that's exactly what I want. So these are ready to come off. It took mere minutes um, for them to cook. Nice caramelized on both sides. Um, also telling that story or talking about burgers as a kid, it just made me realize how like, how much as kids like, we're okay with eating animal products as long as it's like fully disguised as something else. Like as long as it's like a brown disc or a brown cylinder, like we're okay with it. Cause I was also as a kid, like I hated chicken wings. I hated anything with a bone in it. Um, not really like a big steak fan. Like again, anything that had like the remnants of uh, what it used to be really triggered me. Um, and as long as it was just not in any shape remotely close to uh, an animal, I was okay with it. Which I think I, a lot of kids are. Like, I mean, I think that's why fast food worked for me. Yeah, and why so many people are like willing to just eat fast food because there's nothing, nothing about it that makes you think of the thing that it really is. Which it's like when people are like, "Well, why do vegans want meat that, or why do they want things that look like meat if they're not going to eat the meat?" It's like, "Well, your meat doesn't even look like the thing that it is, is anyway. It's just a brown disc. Like, there's nothing about that that." is like the real thing. So it's not like we want our food to look like meat, it's we want our food to look like the fast food burgers and hot dogs and things like that we had as a kid. Unless you go to like a barbecue pit and you want to see the whole pig laying out there. In I guess, of yeah, no. Even as like, as meat eating as I ever was, that still was never a, a thing with me. Oh, I did this last time too. I forgot to season the second batch. So because this is like a party, you know, I would say I'm a fairly big eater and I'm going to personally eat three to four of these. So knowing that you're going to get a dozen from one package of Impossible, from one dozen uh, buns, plan your party accordingly, depending on, you know, how big of eaters you're trying to feed. Um, the other night when I made these, when it was just Ben and I, uh, we both had four of them. Gorgeous, which I think is just like the joy of this type of meal is that we've got a couple different sauces, we've got all the different fixins to go on them, which I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, but you can kind of, you know, as opposed to just one burger where you're committed to one sauce, one set of ingredients, you can have four burgers that mix and match sauces, have different ingredients, and I think that's, I think Hopper agrees. That's the fun of a, of a party like this. These just need about like five more seconds. I've even already turned off the griddle. So they're gonna go into the container or the dish with the rest of the burger patties. And then I'll meet you back at the island and I will show you everything that's gonna be going together with these burgers. Welcome to my slider party. We have the homemade buns here made with Rhodes Rolls. We have our vegan Mac sauce, our vegan Cajun sauce. We have our impossible slider patties here. Uh, I also have some American follow your heart slices here. Some pickles, what kind of pickles are these? Clausen, is that the brand that, yep. Ben loves Clausen pickles. I just took a whole one and sliced it so that they're a good shape for sliders. 
some onion, which I diced really nice and small so that you don't get like huge chunks of onion. And uh, of course you can't have a burger without shreddus. So I'm going to assemble a couple. I'll make one with the mac sauce, one with the Cajun sauce, and I will be ready to give these delicious sliders a day. so excited to dig into these. Now this Cajun sauce, it may seem like a little bit weird that it's going on a burger because initially I did make it to go with vegan nuggets, but um, making this the last time, putting it on a burger, it works so well. And also, think about doing the same thing with vegan nuggets. Air fry some vegan nuggets, put them on these buns, serve them alongside, the impossible patties, like it's gonna be a great party. So you'll have like chicken and burger sliders. Uh, let's dig into the other one. Look at that, I mean, so cute. This little mini Mac. Let's see if I can take an elegant bite of this. Mm. You see those like commercials, you hear about people being fooled. Not a single person is gonna, gonna know that, I guess, unless you bring it and you're vegan, but they're not gonna know those sauces are vegan whatsoever. There's nothing like vegan about them. Those patties as well, get them nice and caramelized, get some good color on there. Again, nobody's gonna know the difference. This is so good, whether you make these for a party, make these for your family, make these for yourself. Um, they reheat pretty well as well. Like we made them again one day and then ate the leftovers the next day. Um, we had to fight over the last four of them. Uh, again, plan like maybe three or four per person, make a huge batch, make a double batch of the rolls or the buns, so good. So thank you all for watching. I'm so excited to eat the rest of these. Uh, if you wanna watch more of my eating videos, then you have to join the channel or follow me on Patreon. There's links below to that. Uh, lots of great people over there supporting this channel. So I would love to join for you to join us there as well. Uh, thanks to everyone for subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and I will see you next time with a brand new recipe video. Bye.